Hey guys. So I keep getting asked how to meditate. So <laughs> I guess I can relate because I didn't meditate for a long time. But meditation is simple. Um, one of my favorite ways to meditate is to simply close my eyes and count backwards from 100 while looking up, kind of like here. <laughs> I guess it's like a 20 degree angle that you're supposed to look up. Um, and I mean, I guess you can't look too far up, right? So just do a comfortable amount of up <laughs> and yeah. But what that does is that helps you go down into your theta state faster and it's it's not super difficult okay so you're gonna close your eyes so when you first begin i would recommend starting at like maybe 99 and counting backwards or you know if you're more comfortable maybe like 25 but if you've never meditated before it's gonna take a while before you get down into your theta state so that's not to be discouraging though like there are lots of guided meditations out there that you can listen to in the meantime so kind of experience more of a meditative state and a more of a beginner state right so as a beginner you can just go ahead and like find youtube videos that say like guided white light meditation for morning or you know for bedtime or whatever makes you happy and sorry there's some ants out here on the ground so um yeah, just go ahead and do some research on different types of meditation because there's a lot of them. Like, for example, I am wearing my malas today. So I made this one. This is 108 bead mala. And one of the ways that you can meditate with the mala. Sorry, I dropped it. Okay, so the malas have like a guru bead, <laughs> bead, guru bead, which is this one here on my mala. And what I do, so you're gonna start with your middle finger, not your index finger. Your middle finger represents heaven, <laughs> okay, or earth, I'm sorry, it represents earth. And then your thumb represents heaven, right? So you're gonna grab your beads and you're just gonna pull them up. And you're gonna keep pulling them up until, and counting, right? So you can count forward, you can count backwards, or you can not count at all, and you can just say your own. So an om can be a mantra, it can be something that you're focusing on, you can just say om, you can just say some other sound or noise that makes you happy, but you're just going to keep grabbing them and pulling them forward, and then you're just going to keep going until you get down, and then when you get all the way around, all 108 beads, you're going to end up right back here. Once you end up back here, you're going to want to go ahead and either stop at 108 or flip it back over and keep going back the other way. You don't want to flip over your mount, your guru bead. You don't want to go past it. It's kind of like a sign of bad luck. But yeah, so the main thing is to not use them on your index finger because this is like the finger that represents fire. So you don't want to use that one. You just want to use your middle finger and your thumb. There's different ways to meditate you can do it with your eyes open or with your eyes shut um i prefer it with my eyes shut just because it just blocks out distractions obviously um another thing i like to do when i'm meditating is hold my crystals um i have this crazy lace agate i don't know if you can she's kind of blurry but she's really pretty and then i have this botswana agate also so i just um will hold my crystals, normally one in each hand, but I'm holding the phone with the other hand, you know, and kind of, um, I like to hold them between my two fingers and my thumb. I really like this motion, and I guess it kind of brings together your spirit, your fire, and your earth, and that's kind of grounding and sparking, I don't know, um, but a lot of meditation practices and yogis etc will tell you to hold your fingers like this and there is definitely something spiritual in it um i should probably do some more research on that maybe i'll have a new video but uh the main thing is to just close your eyes and to block out distractions and thoughts now i know not thinking can be intimidating <laughs> but it's not that difficult 
really like it is at first but once you get used to it it's so peaceful and like it's not like you're beating yourself over the head like oh god another thought oh god another thought no just chill like literally chill that's why the meditation the guided meditations are so nice that's why the mala beads are so nice it gives you something for your brain to focus on other than just nothingness because it can be very difficult to focus on nothing in the beginning music helps a lot so you're gonna want to have some good music i prefer different hertz i really like like i think it was 576 or something i was listening to last night um 528 is really healing um if i really just feel like i don't want to think at all i'll listen to seven hertz and it's kind of a a dulling noise you know <laughs> But you can pick different songs to different hurts. Um, I don't do lyrics when I'm meditating. That seems counterintuitive to me. I'm trying to get rid of my own thoughts. Why would I want someone else's? Um, but do you, you know. We want you to be comfortable. And whatever you're doing, that's the most important part. Spirituality is about you and yourself and getting to know yourself. Now, when you go down into your meditative state and you stop thinking, it gives you literal energy your atoms your everything the ability to go into a state of the unknown and once it's in that state of unknown it's able to kind of go past your state of known okay so we all have this state of what we know in the world and what we expect the world to give us um you know i know my current finances i know my current bank account but if i need more money going into a meditative state a lot of times you'll go down into that theta state and that will allow for the vibrations of you and your manifestation to go out into the universe and change something that you don't know anything about because you're in this state of unknown which is allowing the world and the universe to have control. And it's really hard to give it that surrender and that relief. And I know for a lot of people that's really scary talking in front of people, talking on camera. I never would have done that before. Some people just walked by, I'm still talking. You know, there's a lot of people out here, really, actually. <laughs> but meditation will change you from the inside out for real. Like, it will just truly change how you look at the world, how you look at everything, it will change your life. So just give it a try, it's not difficult. If you have any questions, you know, um, my Instagram, DM me, hit me up. Uh, but really, like, just try to let go for a little while. Know that it doesn't matter what happens on your phone. It doesn't matter if your mom calls 96 times. It doesn't matter if your boyfriend or your girlfriend or, you know, the universe is always going to give you what is meant for you. So you can't, you can't possibly miss out on something that was meant to happen for you. It's just not humanly possible, okay? The universe won't allow it. And that's one thing that I, people really need to understand. Like, you can't control life. You can't control the universe. But you can accept it. And once you learn to accept it, it's truly freeing. So the biggest thing when you go into meditation is to just be open. Open to change. Open to the fact that you don't know. And just forget your known thought and let something new come into your life. Okay? Sorry, I dropped my crystal. So, go give it a shot. I'm going to let you guys go because this was longer than I wanted it to be. I'm at the park and it's super peaceful here. There's a lot of kids running around and screaming and whatnot. They're over there playing basketball. Good time. Make sure you're someplace comfortable and safe when you meditate, okay? Um, one place I know because it's uncomfortable for people, you know, maybe when you're at home, put your headphones in and go in the shower. Or maybe in your car even. For some people that seems to work. Um, I I've did that at first. Um, I would go on my lunch break and just sit in my car. Um, either put my headphones in. And then I would actually play music on the car radio as well. Just so that like people didn't know what I was doing. I don't know. It was weird. I used to be really weird guys. But anyway. Go have fun. Bye. See you later.